What's up guys, Master Styles here. I want to welcome you to my new series called No Money Spent. And this is the first week of playing Eternal Evolution. And if you're new to the game, this is a series you want to follow. Subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other content. So week by week, I will continue to update you guys on my progress. As you can see, I'm already at chapter 7-9 and here we have our heroes um, low level you know I'm not new to the game I do have my main account but this here is my no money spend accounts I go through the series I will try to give as much tips tricks and strategies on what you should focus on and what heroes you should get so first up here I want to pick up Leo you know I'm 34 limited tickets away from getting my first copy of Leo and right now I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get those 34. I'm going to get Luke. I'm going to show you how I'm going to pick up Luke here. So very interesting if you're number one in the rankings you can get Nord but for people that have been playing the game you can't get Nord. Very very interesting. So this is how I am going to pick up my copy of Luke so I'm not going to put any limited tickets towards him. I'm just gonna get it from here. And as you can see, they have ways to spend money. That's against the rules. So no money spent. It's challenging, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. I've been playing this game for almost a year now. So for me, I'm very familiar with the game and I know all the mistakes that I made. So here I already opened up the first chapter of the elites. And also I've Unlocked, Guild, Inhibitor, the Recruitment Center, Command Post, and the Outpost in the Shop. So I still have a lot of things to unlock. You know, it's week one, and in week two, we'll continue to progress. Lost Valley is open. Ah, uh, Ancient Altars is also available. Wasteland, I've cleared it twice already. Got Rift, Fissure, as you can see, I already did the first two. And I've also made it to level three on Sensora Marsh. I am struggling with uh, level four. I just need to level up my heroes and gear them. Same thing with these caves, cleared level three. This, this is one of the main ways I could get those limited tickets. So I have to continue to level up my heroes. And as you can see, I am gonna try to get Mooka here. Mooka will help me with Terradome, so that's the other dungeon that I want to focus on. I do need another 13 of these basic data chips, and we'll get us a first copy of Mooka, because there isn't too many low-level assassins. I do have Rando too, so that could help out. Also, just to show you, um, tomorrow I will get my second copy of Alvia which will help and I already pulled Serena, got lucky, pulled a copy of Serena which is good so I already have a good healer and as you can see here I won't get another 4 limited tickets till day 4 so if I do want to get this copy of Leo it's going to take a lot to try to get him and we have a lot of other things that are in the game that I can't really touch up on. Like for instance, we have this, but uh, first I have to get a copy. And you know, I'm not gonna spend any money on the game, so anything to the right of that is nothing. Same thing here, details gathering, not spending any money on the game, so I just have to slowly grind it out. This too, useless. I think that's what's gonna make this series more fun, cause you know, it's challenging. And for me, you know, and as I go through this, there's times where I'm like, ah, you could just easily spend the money. But for me, the sole purpose of this series is to not spend any money whatsoever. So, you know, if you like content like this, I need you to comment down below because if more people interact with this, I will continue to do it. And I'll also do more videos on it. So here we got artists. I'm not going to invest as much as I did in my main account. Bavia, I am gonna invest a lot on her because she's gonna help me a lot. And we also have Senway over here. Senway definitely will get an extra copy of him on day seven. 
So, you know, slow grind, take your time, no rush. And as you can see here, a lot of this stuff I can't use. None of it is all of no use, you know. So just wanted to show you guys that I'm not spending any money and being true to what I've said. So let's just take a look at my progress for the last two days. And as you can see, tomorrow I'll get my copy of Falvia. I'll eventually get to a point where I get my second copy of Terrena here. That stuff is not going to be of any use, really, because I don't have any other copies of the heroes to level them up. So now it's more so grinding gear and making sure your heroes are well built out gear wise anyways. So farming Disa Caves is going to be one of my main priorities. So here, as you can see, I'm on chapter 19. So while I close things out, I will let Soul Mine play in the background. As you can see, the team that I'm running, I don't have a healer because we're not at the level yet where we necessarily need one. And you know, this team is probably going to be the team that I use for a long time until I get some triple S characters. Leo, Luke will start to get rid of some of these elite characters. But for right now, this is a team that's been working. You know, it's hard not to work on artists in the beginning because they pretty much give him to you. Valvia is your, one of your main AOE damage dealers. And of course you get Tank, I'm blanking on her name right now, and Senway. Senway is a nice summoner. So, you know, a lot of it is you making sure you manage your resources well. Because this game is very heavy in terms of resources. My heroes, they're around level 60 almost. So, for me, I am also going to be farming the elite chapters. So, that's why I wanted to make sure I get to the point where I am able to farm some of the characters that I want. Another thing I'm going to focus on is making sure I get as high as I possibly can in Ancient Altars because that's where I'm going to get a lot of my tick, uh, limited tickets from and I don't have enough heroes to do three teams. So I did look at that and I realized that I need 15 heroes to make a difference there. And as you can see, my progress for the last three days, I can't really tell if it's good or bad, but I just want to continue to keep going. So like I said, comment down below if you want me to continue the series. So if you like content like this and eternal evolution content, make sure you subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching till the next one. Peace.